Welcome to today's mindfulness exercise. This exercise is called the nest of pain. Uh, It might be bringing up some emotional uh, trauma. It may bring up some feelings you have been pushing aside. But we, at some point, must look at those things in order for us to heal and move forward. So you can grab a journal and find someplace quiet where you will not be disturbed. You can follow along with this fully pausing in between each question so that you can answer the questions or you can listen to this all up front and then go back and answer the questions. Let's begin. When we experience pain of any sort, from the emotional to the physical, we often hide away from the world in an effort to protect ourselves. As we draw ourselves inward, literally and metaphorically, we create a small nest for ourselves. And while there are many times in life when retreating is the best way we can take care of ourselves, our nest can become all too comfortable and even inhibiting us. Sometimes the comforts of this nest, even where pain is still present, may prevent us from opening ourselves back up to others and to the world around us. This exercise invites us to consider where we have contracted into a metaphorical nest and where we might be ready to open up and break free of its confines. As you answer the following reflection questions, please know that there is no right or wrong words to express Nothing is expected of you, so simply use this as a tool for self-discovery. Let's begin with reflection question number one. Have you built yourself a nest to protect yourself against pain? How has this nest served you? Question two. How would you describe your nest? Use as many adjectives as you can, even if some of them seem contradictory to others. Nothing is ever black or white. Question three. In what ways does this nest support you? And in what ways does this nest inhibit you? Question four. What do you fear might happen if you step beyond the nest? If you express yourself or put yourself out there in a vulnerable way. Question five. What are the potential gifts that might come to you if you step outside of this comfort zone? Question six. How might you safely explore what lives beyond your nest? You likely already do this in certain ways, so consider the next, slightly bigger steps you might take. Note what you can do daily to slowly open yourself up to the larger world. That concludes our reflection questions and our mindfulness exercise for today. I hope that you find some peace with this and some self-discovery. And until next time, remember, live love and magic. Take care, everyone.